He's over there. God is over I'm Buster Dawson. I'm the president of the Eastern Carolina Corvette Club. All right, and uh, just give us a little bit of the background of the Eastern Carolina Corvette Club. We're based in Wilson. Uh, we cover eastern, probably about seven or eight eastern counties. Um, we were formed in 94. We have about uh, 100 members, um, and we are associated with the National Council of Corvette Clubs. So what kind of goes into being a member of the Corvette Club? Obviously, as we see behind you here, quite a lot of Corvettes, but it, do you have to have one to be part of the club? Yes. Okay. Had to be a Corvette owner to be part of the club. And uh, we see a lot of different ones. What are a lot of the customizations people make to these? Uh, exhaust systems and the way the new cars are um, built today, you can tune them pretty easier, increase the horsepower. So the horsepower, the exhaust system, the, the type of wheels, uh, that's the, basically how we modify the newer models. And the older models can be modified with body panels and, and more. There's more stuff to do as far as modification goes than on the newer cars. Well, what do you guys, do you guys just show them off? Do you ever, do you ever enter them in the competitions? Or? We, we host seven shows a year in the, in the eastern part of the state. And then we participate in other shows. We also host a track day at the North Carolina Center for Automotive Research on a test track in near Roanoke Rapids and uh, we travel to different events. We might take a three or four day trip and go to the assembly plant uh, in Bowling Green or go to the National Corvette Museum in Bowling Green. Well I saw you working on your car a little earlier wiping it down. Just just tell us about yours a little bit. Mine's an 06 Z06. Uh, it's a limited production high performance car, 505 horsepower. Um, and it's probably one of about 2,000 in that color. How did you get into Corvettes, and how did you get into the Corvette Club? Um, I wanted to own a Corvette ever since they came out. Uh, when I was a little boy, that was my fantasy, and 
And in uh, 86, I bought my first Corvette and restored it. It was a 73. And then I've had five other Corvettes until I'm on the one I've got now. Awesome. And uh, how, how did you get started with the club? We, I participated, started participating in shows in other regions. And we had enough interest in the eastern part of, the, of North Carolina when there was no clubs here. So uh, I, along with uh, Fletcher Brazell from Mount Olive, we formed uh, the Eastern Carolina Corvette Club. Uh, talk about how it was to form this club and just talk about its growth through the years. We started with about a half a dozen members, and like I said, we're up to about 100 members now. Um, after you start going to shows and, the, and the, uh, y your name gets out as far as the club being, you don't have any problem getting members. And the popularity of the cars ha has grown to the point where we have a lot of Corvette owners, especially around the Wilson area, who are members of the club. All right, well, before we get you out of here and back to your car, uh, what are we seeing here today? Is this more of just a show, or is it? Well, it's a show. It started out in 94 as a display. Mm -hmm. We brought about seven cars out here to the open house and the fly-in, and then over the years it's grown into a people's choice show, and we've had as high as 120 cars uh, at one time. We, With the weather like it is, we should have about 80, 85 cars today. Have you thought about getting one of the planes? No. I'd rather have the four wheels on the ground awesome thank yeah. you so much thank you first let's just tell us your name i'm gene turner all right and uh gene tell us a little bit about your uh okay. all right this is this is a 1962 corvette it's a automatic it's a, it has a 327 300 horsepower uh the car i bought the car in boxes and friends of mine that, that put, helped me put it back together and uh it's about 10 years old. I've had it about 10 to 12 years now, how and long, I enjoy driving it. How long did it take you guys to build it? It took us about two and a half years. And uh, how long have you been part of the uh, Corvette Club here? Uh, at least eight years. What What do you like about the, the shows and displays like this? Uh, I just, what I really like about it is bring the cars out, and especially one that, like I have, the older one hear people talk about it, the people that had them, friends of theirs that have had them, but uh, most people really enjoy it, and I, I get more pleasure out of letting people look at it than I do anything else. Thanks so much. Tell us your name. My name is Charles King. All right, Charles, tell us a little bit about your Corvette. My Corvette's a 2011 Torch Red Coupe. I've had it for six months, and uh, this is my fourth one. Tell us, tell us about your other three then and the, the progressions to well, get to this one. My first one was a 2000 dark bowling green coupe. Uh, then I bought a 2005 Le Mans Blue that uh, we, we had a little trouble with it. So we, we, we traded it for, made a deal with the dealer and we wound up with a 2005 silver coupe that we drove for 120,000 miles. And, uh, did, um, we just started looking around last spring and uh, we went by the dealer and he had this one he wanted to sell and uh, we wanted to buy and we came to an agreement so we've been we've been running it ever since. Now you mentioned the license plate says weekend ride. That that apparently is when you get to take that, it that's out. That's it. Yeah, my wife drives it daily. She drives it to work every day because she has this great big parking lot she can park in when nobody parks around her. And so uh, I get to drive it on the weekends. Awesome. So